everyone, welcome back. We are gonna finish up today with such a treat. We have executive chef and search partner, executive chef Brad Blake from Skull Creek Boathouse. So excited to have you. Thank you for I having me. I think this me. is the first time we've been on this it together. Is. It is, we've I'm gonna learn together, so but... much today. <laughs> We've known each other for a long time, Absolutely. actually. We've done a lot of different oh, events with each man. other, but it's the first time we've done something like this. Yeah, so. and I'm excited. And what did you bring today? Because I know I'm going to mess up the name. So. <laughs> this is a sea salt and vinegar encrusted crab cake. Wonderful. That's on our menu there at the Skull Creek Boathouse. And it is, it's very, very popular, isn't it? It's very popular, very simple, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a great dish. Um, because it's hearty, there's hardly any filler in it. We, yeah. like the, we like the food to speak for itself. Absolutely, and, and recognize what it is, and see that this beautiful Correct. crab, and really there is, there there's, isn't a lot of stuff going no. in it except for crab. No, you want <laughs> you want the crab to kind of come out, and then that salt and vinegar gives it that sweet and that little tang in the yeah, back of your jaw like there. Yeah, I like it. And like people salt. love dipping seafood into malt vinegar anyway. Correct. So you're just putting that on the outside. Right. All right, show me how to make this. Okay, <laughs> well, what I'm gonna have you do for us first, okay. we like to use Miss Vicky's chips. Okay? Love Miss Vicky's chips. Sea salt and vinegar. Okay. And if you could crush these up to make a little crust. Okay, okay? and you don't want, do you want small I don't want it really fine. Big? I want it okay. kind of chunky, so that way you can still identify the chip itself. Okay, all right, all right. so I'll break these up while I'm you're doing I'm gonna give you all of those. Okay. Okay, you're tempting me to eat. <laughs> All right, so I'll break these up. While you're doing that, what we're going to do is assemble the crab cake itself. Okay. 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 And this, again, it's a very simple dish. Okay. Um, in a lot of our food, we keep it simple so yeah. people can identify the all the food. Love it there. there you go. They're, they absolutely love it there. And the crab cakes is my youngest daughter, her favorite. So this crab so, cake is this is we're actually going to make an appetizer right now, correct. right? Okay. Okay. Um, we do appetizers and entrees. Okay. Uh, appetizer is just one. I mean, entrees you have the choice of. You can have either one or two. Right. So that and way, along with your sides correct, too. Okay. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Um, we use a blue crab. It's a lump crab. Okay. Beautiful. We don't like to mash it up, so we like to leave the nice big chunks yeah. that we can. Because that um, does happen with a lot of crab cakes sometimes. It looks like it's just like ready. Fine and like, shred yeah. it out. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we leave it chunky, but at the same time, we want to make sure there's no cartilage there. Right, right. So you pick that up. I definitely never want the job of picking crab. Blue crab. No, no. It's, <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. It's not the fun job No, part it's of definitely it. not. But I've seen some people do it quick. Oh, yeah. Look. Absolutely. When I first moved down here, um, my first job was over on Defusky right, Island. Right, of course. You're right. Gotcha. There's so some people you, that can pick some crab <laughs> over there. Fast. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want to sit next to them at dinner. Yeah. So <laughs> basically, right. our crab cake, as okay. we keep crushing that okay. up, a little I'll bit kind of finer put this than aside. that. Okay. All right. Uh, we have crab. What we're going to do is a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay. Now, do you like using a light mayonnaise or? Um, I'm, I don't like anything light, so. I'm right there with you, <laughs> chef. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I use Dukes. It's, I love Dukes mayonnaise. You know, it's yeah. one of the classics. That's the way so. to go. So we just want a little bit of mayonnaise in there to help bind it together. Okay. Um, to help accent the vinegar and the crust right. that we use, we use a little love Dijon stuff. mustard to help okay. get that little vinegary yeah. going again. Yeah, love it. Okay. Now you're not using a whole grain though, right? You're just no. Yeah, I use a smooth. You want, gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. think with the whole grain, you're gonna have too many textures with yeah. the crunch of the potato yeah. chip, the crab. Am I good there? You, yeah, you're okay. good there. All right, cool. Um, a little classic, you can use Old Bay or your signature if you have a, a signature spice gotcha. to use. We're okay. using Old Bay because it seems to be the most common for yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, and people like, and it's a great, it wouldn't be around this long if it wasn't good, Correct. right? I mean, <laughs> why reinvent the wheel? Correct. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of lightly fold that together. Okay, beautiful. Now you do need a little bit of a binder. Okay. Obviously we have the potato chips for the um, For the crust, crust on the outside, okay. So. And then this is just a pan. Just what, a, a what I'm gonna do is like panko breadcrumb. Gotcha. As you can see, just Panko's a sprinkle so like that. so great to cook with anyway. Just always, it's pretty universal. Yeah, it's great. Okay, and that's just gonna help bind it together. Now, Love I am it. gonna add a little bit of a lemon to it. Okay, good deal. And by rolling that, what did you just do? Well, when you roll it, you start breaking out all the cells inside the lemon. Beautiful. So it helps juice Beautiful. it very easy. Okay. And I know um, I don't want to run out of time to get this great, beautiful go. product out there. We're going to cook that up. We're just going to yep. pan saute it. We're just going to pan saute it. Uh, you can use a little butter. We always like to use a little bit of um, oil into it. It helps yeah. that butter uh, smoke temp so right. the butter doesn't still right. start burning on you. So when people start thinking that you're going to um, use butter to cook everything in. Sometimes it's not always the best to cook it No, just it's in not, butter. because it's got such a low smoke temp. Right. All right, so as you can see, everything's mixed up. Beautiful. Mostly crab. Beautiful. Well, oh my gosh, it is really all crab right there. We're just gonna make a nice little ball. Perfect. Okay. And we, again, you guys, this is the appetizer's yeah. um, portion, so. We do four ounces at the restaurant. Beautiful. And I'm gonna say it's probably beautiful. right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna oh my gosh, pat the vinegar it. chips right on it. 
he has to crush over. I didn't want to do it too much. I'm so strong. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to show off in front of everyone. Right. And so we're just going to pan sear that then. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Now, what, you were, what I was asking earlier was that you also have this in a dinner, because that's what my daughter has had before. Correct. And then so you can either get one or, or two. two. Great. Because a lot of people are starting to eat like not as big a portion. Right. And some people want to enjoy more things. Exactly. But that's why we also offer it as an appetizer as well with gotcha. no sides so they can get gotcha. other things. So. Now, um, go ahead, you're going to. Yeah, we're just making sure. There we go. Perfect. It's getting a little warm there, so. Beautiful. You want to hear that, that sizzle. Going. All right, so we're going to start running out of time because I want to be able to plate that. I want to, while it's cooking, okay. I want to ask you, um, now I know that you have some different, I mean, the Skull Creek Boathouse is always busy. It's always has it going on. It's literally fantastic to go there, both as a local tourist, bringing your friends and family. What are some of the things that you have going on on the weekend? I know you have brunch, right? Well, absolutely. We have a uh, Sunday brunch buffet. Love um, it. You know, we do an assorted uh, pastries and muffins, yeah. fresh fruit, granola, right. um, bacon, sausage, biscuits, All the gravy, goods, uh, shrimp. Yeah, right. Have a, an omelet station so you can create your own omelet. I'm Beautiful. generally there every Sunday. Oh, so you can see him doing yeah. your own omelet, so. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, but that goes very well. It gives everybody that option. Yeah. Um, and you have your shrimp and grits on there too. We have shrimp too. and grits on the menu or on the buffet as well, so they Perfect. can do that. And then I do a daily features as well. Like this week, Perfect. we did a salmon hash. Or so there's always something to look forward to on that brunch. That's a little bit different. And different from your regular um, dinner and lunch hours. Correct. All right, so we're going to pull this as we start to wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoy all these great chips from Executive Chef Brad Blake. That is gorgeous with that beautiful crust on the outside. Well, Chef, thank you so much for sharing thank and you for teaching. Me. And we're going to throw this on, give it a spin, and make sure you guys check them out. Um, seven days a week. Seven days a week. And he's always there. <laughs> <laughs> we like to have fun. Absolutely. Guys, make sure you check out so their website. The general store is there. And they're right there. What's the address again? 397 right. Squire Pope Road. Squire Pope right at the north end. Thank you Marker so much. Marker 13. Marker 13. Yeah, if you're coming from the water <laughs> side. We'll be back in just a moment.